Mm. So there's a quote from Socrates, sorry, that goes, uh, the unexamined life is not worth living. And now reflection, reflecting on stuff is something that at least for me, I was told to do a lot in like high school and even at the start of university a little bit um, to reflect. And I was always like, you know, I don't want to reflect on the test that I failed. I don't even want to reflect on the test that I did well on. I don't want to reflect on anything. You know, I was like, you do the thing and it happened, you move on. At one point or another, I learned the value of reflecting. I think it started from boxing training where I started to figure out that you only actually get good at something when either you tell yourself or someone who has an exterior point of view tells you what you're doing wrong in the thing that you're doing. And unless you have that ability to go and critique your actions, find the thing that you do wrong in the actions and then fix those, you never actually get better at anything. So there's a lot of people that go around in their lives and do stuff without ever reflecting. Like they literally live their day to day lives. I do this. Fuck it. Everyone does it. Not a lot of people. Everyone does this. I do it. You probably do it. Everyone does it. They go around in their day to day lives doing normal things. And a majority of the things that they do, they fuck up on, or they're not where they want to be, or their life isn't excelling in the way that it should be or the way that they want it to be. And I think a lot of that is attributed to the fact that we don't ever actually sit back and think about what are we doing? How could we do it better? Or what are we doing? What are we doing wrong? And how could we do it better? And so, so many things in your life, I think relate back to the concept of actually reflecting on the things that you do. And that's a really like random concept because like, mm. Who really cares? Like, I don't know. It's not a fun thing to, it's not really enjoyable to reflect, but I genuinely do think that it's an important thing. So, you know, like for me, it's really helped me figure out why do I react to things in the way that I do and figure out things about myself because I've reflected and been like, you know, why did I do this in this situation? And it's like, oh, it's because of that. And then because I figured out what that is, I can now actually attack the root cause instead of just stripping some band aid over whatever the fuck I thought the problem was. And then I don't have that problem in my life anymore. And you know, I move on to the next thing. So I think that's a really big thing. And I think reflecting and going over your life and mistakes in any realm of your life, in a sport, in school, in your social life, in your love life, whatever it is, um, is really the only way to get better. And you need to kind of lower your ego to do that, right? You need to kind of accept the fact that there's something wrong with you, but you have to come at it from a positive point of view and you want to fix it. So I think with that attitude, you can really kind of conquer whatever you want. Um, and you know, if your life isn't going the way you want it to, or something in your life is not going the way you want it to, then you can totally fix that. It just takes some actual solid sitting there in the silence, reflecting internally. That's it.